Hey everybody, Day Trader Rockstar here. And a uh, fast video just to kind of update you on some pre-market poppers. You know, this is a style of trading we trade uh, here early in the morning. Um, pre-market starts at 4 a.m. We I tend to get into the office about 7.30 and we start looking for these stocks that come out. Now, on these charts you're going to look at, the gray area is the pre-market session. Th that little lighter or that darker gray area right here. So this one you can actually see had news come out. Um, the time was about 10, 11, 10 a.m. And that's, you know, and again, I, I just put out another video yesterday talking about these pre-market poppers because this is something we really specialize in in the morning, uh, the morning hours. But these things could pop at any point. And the scanner, and again, this is a scanner that I was showing you. This is live on the, sh on the, uh, the site every day right next to my chart. So when you get in, Make sure you're looking at the, the scanner here because this, this will start to populate at 4 o'clock in the morning. And if there's good news, there's a couple of the criteria I want to go over. So this is actually the poppers for to, uh, that happened today. Uh, some of them happened after hours. Some of them happened during the day. Some of them happened in the morning. But we're going to go through them real fast. This Corbis, as you can see, the daily, um, one thing that these poppers tend to have in common, they're, they're cheap price, they're cheap stocks. They tend to have had reverse splits. Reverse splits is where they will uh, eliminate shares. So, you know, that's actually, they'll, they'll uh, increase the price, but they'll also, you'll also lose the, sh the two shares. So re reverse split, instead of giving you, um, like a regular split would be a four for one split. For every one stock, you get four extra. In this case, it would be like, in this case, uh, we'll just look at this one. Uh, this was a one for 30. So for every 30 stocks you have, you're going to only get one. But the price is going to uh, change for that. So it all evens out, but there's less there's less shares available. And the, the smaller float makes it easier to move. And we see a lot of the stocks that fall into these poppers had recent splits. In this case, one this one had a, a split in the, on Valentine's Day, February 14th, actually, one for 30. And this, this, again, makes the float much smaller and easier to move. The other thing is you have to make sure that there's good news. So um, we saw this one going today. You can see the five minutes. This thing pretty much went all day. If we were, I didn't take this trade, but we did point it out. I don't have, I'm at my home office, not at my, my other office uh, that I trade out of. I, th I believe that we probably circled this. And it just actually might have not been circled. But you can see where the news came out. And from that point on, um, it sh shows up on our, our ski, uh, uh, scanner here. And it was up 134%. We discussed a few of these. And these are very possibly setting up for tomorrow. So that's what I want to go over. The uh, WEJO is a recent SPAC. <coughs> Um, or at least a stock that was at the uh, at the ten dollar level and it came all the way back down. If you see the daily chart, this is something we kind of just uh, I marked out the other day, and it's just because this stock hasn't popped yet. It was a, and we like these stocks that are under a dollar that were one spacs. They tend to get pops. So this one, at, at you know, and if you if you're gonna get something manipulated, or uh, pushed, or you know, uh, becoming. Um, you know, get out there on the day trading boards and stuff, and people really take advantage of it. You're usually having people take positions beforehand, and we like to see that the day before on lighter volume. But actually, I noticed this one right about when it was 43 cents, it started moving up. So we put that. This is actually on my scanner for tomorrow. I think we could actually move a little bit higher on this. All right, so W E J O could be a mover tomorrow. All right, this one. Uh, there's a daily. Let's take a look at the five five minute. Nothing, no no uh, volume on that, so we're going to pass on that. A lot of these will have the yellow circles represent, and you can see the gray area back here represents the pre market level. And usually when I get in, you know, this is right around 7:30. I'll I'll look at my pre market movers and I'll mark them all down. That way, when I do my research at night, I can look back and say this is where we noticed this. How did it work out? And I looked at this one later on in the day, and I circled it again because it was showing strength. Um, now, it doesn't mean if I circle it, there's a lot of stocks we go through, but I circled to identify it, 
to learn from it, to pass it on, to to alert people of the of the action, and then know where we alerted and know how it worked out afterwards. Um, BQ, BQ, I think it was a Chinese stock. I did notice it starting to get a little interesting here, so I circled it. It was about midday. Uh, nothing really going. It is on the it is up 26 percent, but only 80,000 shares. So here's one we did take. Uh, news came out, so, you know, and um, I, I jumped in here pretty early in the morning, and it moved up most of the day, and we're still holding on to this going into tomorrow. And again, you can see where this thing came from. I like stocks that that, uh, and again, you're not looking at 10,000. You can see this had splits. This had two splits already. So you had a one for 35 split, and then you all had another one for 40 split. And I believe this one, the float is under a million shares. So imagine that, you know, million shares float. I mean, there's not much, you know, not much stock out there. And if traders want to hold on to and push this thing higher, it easily could. So it's, it's actually setting up pretty good. It, it closed pretty strong today. So we're watching it for tomorrow. Most of these stocks, I don't expect a lot, but they t tend to give us between 30 and, you know, it's, uh, it's kind of a wide range, but honestly, 30 to like 200%. Uh, on average, it's, lots of times, it's 50 to 100%, which is, you know, that is amazing. So, but you have to be in them early. You have to identify them, and this scanner right next to you identifies them real time. You just have to be watching it. Hub C, we um, had this one on our radar. We traded it yesterday. We had a nice trade on it. I got out of it yesterday, um, and look at it after hours. So something must have came out after hours. I know a lot of our members have this one still because we all got in it together. Um, when it when it came down here, we all got into it. It slowly moved up. I took profits yes, and now it popped today big time, three dollars. So congratulations if you are in this. Um, you know these are meant to be taken off. You have a great profit. I would I would be selling. You know I really would be. Uh, here's one that we noticed. Nothing really came of it, so we'll pass on that. Um, ATI physical therapy. This is an interesting one because you can see there was a little action, and I, I looked this one up, and I, I wanted to show you this on my um, on my charts. How to find out news? Because every time I get in the morning, and we, we see something on the screen, we say, "Why is it up? Why is this thing up on volume? Why is it up 30, 50 percent?" Um, so I have to figure that out pretty fast. And a good way of doing it is actually, let me see if I could uh, show you how I do it. I have a all right, so I have a, a Twitter, what's called a TweetDeck. And TweetDeck, um, just have to learn how to use it. You put, you can put in a, a symbol, and the symbol will come back, and you'll see a lot of people talk about it. And usually, you'll have the news posted on here pretty fast. So you can see the news here. Uh, Enzo Biochem agrees to sell clinical laboratory to the LabCorp. So they're selling the LabCorp, selling to LabCorp. Scroll down here, you can probably see a price on this. I think it was $140 million. The $140 million sale price getting out even with us and $19 million debt. Anyway, uh, a lot of people talking about it after hours. So that's how I find my news really, really fast. I just put it in here on the Twitter. Put the dollar sign when it comes to when it comes to um, uh, a stock. So that's what that, well, that's why that one um, or the one we were just looking at before. Where is it? ENZ. This is the one that popped here. That, that's the news. It wasn't the other one I was just looking at. That was another E stock. But let's just go down. We'll get to that one in a second. That was that was this one. Um, this is a follow through. KTRA. Again, I started seeing this one move up also, and I also got into this one. And uh, why I like this one, well, it had a reverse split back here, one for, uh, one for 50 reverse split. It started to move in December, which I thought was pretty good. And when I see this thing going up to about $15, and at the time we got in, it, it was like three and change, four. Um, you know, all I'm looking for is maybe a couple dollars on this. There might be something out on that. KTRA, KTRA. All right, so I'm looking on this, and I scroll through this pretty fast, and you can see there's not too much here. 
on the Newswise, uh, Newswise, uh, Katera Therapeutics to present two posters at the AACR 23. I don't know when that is. Maybe they might have came out and mentioned that. Um, but I'm not seeing any any standout news on this one, which I like. You know, I kind of like that better because I want to be in it before any news comes out. So, like I said, this was kind of under the radar. The volume wasn't there. It's only 218,000 shares. But, um, you know, I think we can get a little bit more follow through. I would be taking it off. If we got another dollar on it, I would be take, taking it off. Uh, no doubt. All right, so let's take a look at a couple of the other ones that are setting up for tomorrow. Uh, Super League Gaming, I'm not interested. The ENZ, we, I said we just talked about the news on this one, selling something to LabCorp. This could move. They said it was a $146 million deal. Their market cap. I looked this up before. The market cap was only about 50 million, so um, you know this tells me. That I think this is still, you know, the price right now is still under what the market cap would be. I'm not doing the math perfectly, but I'm just doing a ballpark. Uh, you know, look at what they're getting for the deal, what the stock is worth, how many shares, uh, you know, are outstanding and uh, kind of come up with my own market cap and I do believe it should be a little bit higher which means the price or the price should be a little bit higher to compensate for that so I think this is still uh, buy it might move at four o'clock in the morning you know I'll actually circle it here in case we come back and that's what I tend to do is always circle my uh, my uh, observations so I could come back and say this looked interesting let's see what happens with it and then we have OCX and we got it. I pointed this one out um, today about 11 o'clock, and you could see it popped nice. I remember seeing this, and this was really good. It was kind of under the radar. It moved up after that about another 40% after I, I pointed it out, and now it's consolidated into the uh, close. So that's what it looks like here on the chart. It's a 30 cent stock. It did come from a pretty decent level up here. It's an interesting one. It might move tomorrow. The volume is there. You know, I'd like to get some follow-through volume, so I'm not in this. But again, this is what our scanners are bringing us instantaneous. Once these things get up to a a, a point, they jump on my radar. Up to, when they're up over 30%, they tend to move even further. So if I'm I'm getting uh, the alerts when it hits 25, 20, I think a 25% gain. I also have my um, my price uh, criteria to be under eight dollars. I also have a float criteria to be a small float, and uh, the volume here automatically, uh, you know, I I I, let, <laughs> I don't put a high volume on it because I don't mind getting a, a low volume because I want to get in before the real high volume comes in, so I can analyze it on the row. If I just get it, see the uh, gain, I think is probably the most important thing on my screen is just getting in it before it takes off. A lot of these stocks will go 20. You know, uh, just 134, 30% higher, 40% higher, 48% higher, 50%. They all show up here when it when they get over 25%. So you still have a lot of upside. You just have to be in front of it. All right. All right. And um, to see this in the morning, just go to daytradingradio.com. That's daytradingradio.com, and you'll see this is this is the, my chart. The uh, the low float flyers will be right next to it. This will be populated in about 4 o'clock in the morning. To get to the dashboard, very simple process. Either become a member or take a trial. The trial's free. Just go to DT. Again, I'll go to this. DTR.TV forward slash free. And it'll just give you, uh, just put in your name, email address, create a login name and a password, send it in, and you'll get access for 10 days. You can use all the tools and be in the chat and check out all the things. We have so much. I would highly recommend looking at um, some of the past videos and seeing all the, the tools you can use. If you're a, a scalper, a futures trader, an options trader, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. We have it all. So, um, so when you go on here, let's go to Day Trading Radio. <clears throat> Click on the members area. And then it'll, just log, it'll ask you for a username and password that, that you picked. Just put it in here. And this will come up. And this is my dashboard. And these are the trades that get connected to your your trial and your account and your membership. You get all these trades sent to you instantaneous to your phone, to your email, however you want to set it set it up. You have everything else here. 
Uh, actually, uh, look at that uh, Bitcoin he actually popping here right now. Bitcoin, 25,700. 25, we have a Bitcoin chart here. And again, this is what some of the things. Just to give a look at what we did today. It was kind of a slow day. I ended up... Um, we're still in the ELEV, -E which is looking pretty good. I should have showed that one. Uh, we bought that one yesterday. That's holding up pretty good. MEMX. Uh, oh, that, excuse me. That was um, then we bought the ETAO, and that's just hanging here at two, around two dollars. Um, I added to the SWK today on my position. It went out a little further to May. That's Stanley Black and Decker. I bought some. We talked about we bought this BXRX on that. That's up nice. And then I bought the KTRA. And that's up. Um, and then I actually bought some Credit Suisse again. We traded that uh, in the morning. Yesterday morning we did well on it. I just picked it up, seeing if we have any news overnight that kind of pops at 30 to 40 cents. That's not my, uh, I think that's a little higher risk. And I'm not in it that much. I don't want to, um, probably don't want to hang on to it too much. If I get a little profit in, I'll take it off. But this is where you're going to see the, um, and, uh, and this also going out for people. A lot of people are um, signing up today and asking where the business plan for traders are. And I messed up. I did not have it on the site. I, I thought it was on the playbook. So I put it there right now. So when you get on that site here, go to the Dis, uh, Day Trader Rock, Rockstar's business plan right here. That's a, an excellent video to start off with. And then here's the pre-market poppers. It tells you all about pre-market poppers, and that's a lesson plan on that. The quad rotation for our scalpers and futures traders is great. And then all these other uh, educational videos here, these are the best of the best. So um, enjoy it while you can and absorb that. If you have any questions, just feel free to ask. All right, feel free to ask. Um, back to the dashboard that's right on the top where it says playbook and then you have the forums and everything else so I just want to get that out tomorrow's Friday it's triple witching it is St. Patty's Day so happy St. Patty's Day to you and uh, we'll see you in the markets tomorrow hopefully we're gonna find a uh, you know uh, a double maybe a triple that those are great you know and, and it's got, if we're gonna get a double and triple it's gonna come from one of these stocks that are gonna show up on our scanner the scanner is the key to finding these big, big movers. You know, I'm not talking about Apple. It's not going to show up here. Facebook's not going to show up on these. These are going to be stocks that are moving up over 20%. We check them real fast. We find out what the news is. We make we make a call at that point. We either get in uh, or, stay, or step to the sidelines. Remember, 90% of these will pop uh, when we give you the alert. But most of these, 90% of them, will drift later in the day. So if these things are meant to be uh, traded on, on the, most of them are meant to be traded on the, the same day. If it's good news, uh, it's really good news, uh, then you can hold on to it and you can kind of play that game. But typically these things um, drift back down. So just take that into consideration. But like I said, that one video um, that talks about that a lot, the pre-market popper lesson plan is on the site. It's a great video. It's a cheat sheet. talks about the highest probability of trades for it, how to get the news the fastest, and what to do with all that stuff. If you just click this little video right there. So hope you enjoyed this fast little video, kind of get you updated for tomorrow. Uh, it's Friday. Happy St. Patty's Day. We'll see you in the markets. And if, um, and if you like it, support the site with a membership. We have different memberships. You can go to daytradingradio.com. And check out everything about daytradingradio.com and what you get with a membership. All right, have a good one. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'll be in the. Uh, I'll be on the uh, air at 7:30.